Okay, welcome to the Land Rover Toolbox videos. This set of videos is going to be about wiring, reading wiring diagrams, and diagnosing electric faults. We're going to start with a few basics first. Don't worry if you get confused because it will become clear as we get into the series. Okay, jumping on to my desktop and opening up a folder, I have a PDF here, which you might not be able to see if you're watching on a mobile phone. And this is a PDF of uh, wiring circuit diagrams for the Defender 300 TDI and V8. Okay, well we're lucky here because the later PDFs will have coloured manuals or wiring diagrams. This diagram shows the power distribution circuits. You'll be able to spot the battery, uh, the fuse box and where the live feeds go to, to the ignition switch and the fuse board which you'll find in the interior of the vehicle. The brown wiring is permanent live which will feed your ignition switch, it will feed some of your fuse boxes and other auxiliaries that you need without the key in the vehicle for instance. Okay well some of us won't be fortunate enough to have a colour diagram and we have to settle for a black and white line diagram um, like this one here which has components numbered and the wires designated an abbreviation not always the color abbreviation and also an index to explain what's going on with it okay this is a color standard you'll find on British vehicles or Land Rovers and on the right here you also have cable codes or the color codes which is for the LDV vehicles as well which are also made in Britain or were made in Britain the service workbook for the convoys and the pilots, they also have detailed diagrams and as you can see here, the wiring designations with the components, they all have B and if you look at the top there it says it's earthing for the complete vehicle. So our British standard wiring would indicate that black is actually for the earth but it also can be for security devices as well. Just to show you this in colour on a Land Rover wiring diagram, you have the battery here and this is the first place I always look to check to see what the colour is of the earth which is B for black, okay. Well you also have a red cable, you know this one, battery to star, you can see that at the top there and you also have a brown feed to the fuse box engine compartment. Okay, so we'll follow the red wire to the starter motor and you can see there you have the red wire, you also have a brown live which will go to the alternator. Heading on over to the uh, starter relay, we have a brown with orange tracer which terminates and then turns to black which goes to the engine immobilizer. Now this is black and it's not on earth, it's only to confuse thieves. Looking at our line diagram, you can see 71 is the battery and there's a heavy cable which is not marked but it goes to 64 which is a starter motor and you have N which will be brown and you see 72 goes to the alternator and you also have a wire direct to 74. Number 74 on the list is a heat start switch which is for glow plugs but it also has a WR wire which goes from the ignition switch 54 and to the starter motor. Instead of having the brown and with orange tracer wire, we have a white and red one which uses the heater relay also as the starter relay to starter motor. Alright, so going back to the 300 TDI, I'm going to take you back to the charging and starting system. Uh, the wiring diagram for this, we saw it earlier where we have the battery at the top left and the starter motor here. And as I said earlier, the brown wire will follow down and go to the alternator. So as you move down there you can see the alternator and that's there, that's earthed out via fixings. And you'll also notice a brown with a yellow tracer. That is for your warning lamp on your dashboard. If you look above, just for curiosity's sake, if you look above the alternator you'll see the glow plugs and you should be able to see on your TDI engine the colour coding will be exactly the same as this wiring diagram. Okay, so on our map we have the battery, we have the starter and the components for the charging and starting system. Take time to browse your wiring diagrams and we're going to get used to this because we're going to do a lot more. Now I'm going to show you something else which is your permanent feed to a fuse box in the engine compartment 
and you also have a supply feed from there into your ignition switch. Now, if you turn your key onto the second position, you have a white wire which will feed other components. You'll know this if you sit in your vehicle. And if you follow the white wires, you will see where they get distributed to. One of these will be the heater or um, glow plug timer, which then goes on to your glow plugs. You can see that along here. Okay, that's quite easy, simple. I'm just going to come out of this wiring diagram and I'm going to move down one to a V8 petrol and show you the difference. So you have your battery uh, which goes to your starter motor and if you follow to your ignition feed and follow your red and white wire you'll see there's a relay starter but that also goes to relay fuel pump and if you follow the wiring down which is white with a tracer you'll see the switch to oil pressure and you'll also see the fuel pump. Compared to the diesel, the V8 has a lot more activation with the ignition switch. So if you notice, with the oil pressure switch, it needs to go to earth to put the light out, which also provides an earth for the relay, otherwise the fuel pump won't work. This is looking just at the wiring diagram. So that's quite easy. If you understand that, then it's like following a map. Once you understand how to read wiring diagrams, this will actually assist you with quick diagnosis as you don't need to pull wiring all the way out. Okay, that's it for now. In the following months, we'll be covering electrics a lot more and we're going to be using wire diagrams. So get used to it. Get yourself one for your vehicle so you can follow along.